Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying 24 cool hacks that you should know by Five Minute Crafts. But first, I just want to address this comment. So, okay, those scissors. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about. Where the heck are my scissors? Where the heck are my scissors? You guys keep saying that these are my scissors. So these are my craft scissors. These are for like you know sewing or like cutting paper or like crafting things. That's what we do. We craft here. These these are freaking pulse scissors. These are for more like cutting bone or like, you know, it's more for like cooking stuff. And also kind of hard to open and close. Ah, ah, like I need two hands to open and close these. Not good for crafting, good for crafting. Bad for crafting, good for crafting. Bad, good. Bad, good, bad, good. Anyway, let's go try some cool tricks. Okay, so for this one, they stacked four cans on top of each other, and that's fine and dandy, but I, I would knock those things down so many times. So I'm just gonna take three cans, but I'm gonna cut the bottom off of one, you know. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Kind of uneven, but it's fine. Might as well fix it. There we go. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so we have that. Next, we're gonna need some pennies, or coins that are, like, magnetic, but I feel like most coins aren't magnetic, so I'm just gonna take my adventure fund and, uh, take the magnet and kind of see what's magnetic in here. Okay, so I'll take the top off. Come on. I feel so weak. Like, I can't open a freaking pickle jar anymore. There we go. Take all that out. Okay. Here's our magnet. Let's see if any of these coins are actually magnetic. Nope. Okay, we have to keep searching. Guys, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but I don't think that any of these coins are gonna be magnetic. Yeah, I don't know. What country is that? None of my coins are magnetic. Well, I guess we might as well try it. So, they just had a can like this, and then they had another can like that, and another one like that. Okay, so this one, this one, this one. And I guess I need, like, a board or something? Oh, so they have, like, a ruler. I don't have a freaking ruler. I don't know. Freaking ruler! What can I use for this? Holy crud! Well, I don't have a ruler, but I do have this iPhone. Maybe that'll work. I'm just gonna go ahead and test it really quick. Oh my god! Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh no! I just broke my iPhone. Oh, I think it's covered by the warranty. <laughs> oh no! Oh, dude, I I completely broke it. Anyway, that won't work. Maybe a piece of cardboard. Okay, yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go ahead and test it to see if the magnet will still go through the cardboard. Here's my knife. Oh, that's definitely, yep, it still works. Okay, let's put some pennies under here. No, come on. This doesn't work. Maybe a nickel? No, another nickel? No, a quarter maybe. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I can try it with washers? Do I have washers? Please tell me I have washers. Okay, so I don't have any magnetic coins, but I do have some washers and nuts. Maybe that'll work. You ready? Here we go, guys. Here we go, and... Okay, that's definitely magnetic. <gasps> oh! It kind of works. That's cool. Try it with two washers like a van. Nope, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Okay, I think this can needs to be shorter. There we go. Okay. Two washers right on top of each other. Dang it. This is so hard. Okay, let's try three. Ready? They're kind of, they're magnetizing together. Oh, I did it! Okay, so I did it with washers. Can I add another one? Nope, too strong. Okay, I see why they might have done two now. I kind of regret cutting this one. I need another can. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Let's see how high I can get this. Wait, I don't have that much. Ah! <laughs> I'm a mess. Maybe now I have to lift this up because it's too short. Thank you guys for putting up with me. I know I'm a royal mess. Try that. You guys can't even see. Okay, yeah, here we go. Put these down a little bit. Come on. I'll do this without knocking over the cans. It's too tall now. This is so difficult. I need something shorter than that, but taller than this. Is pickle jar shorter. There we go. Try that one. Mm. No! I did it. Now I'm just gonna lightly blow on it. No! <laughs> Maybe if I add a nut to the bottom. Kind of make it heavy. Nope. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna go as low as possible. Boop. Just gonna stack these, maybe. <laughs> That's fun that it just keeps going, though. Wow. Okay. Oh, come back. Oh, there's actually a little bit of magnetism down here. So maybe I can stack these. 
No! Ah! So close. There we go. I'm not sure if I'm just stacking them really well or if like they're just like being magnetized. No! Ah! Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Uh, I'm just I'm putting too much freaking thought into this. <sighs> Here's my sewing kit. Got everything we need right here. Needles, perfect. Black thread, maybe some scissors. Oh, and also this thing. This thing helps a lot. Cool. Well, now it's time to thread some needles. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we got these all done. Then we break out our magnet. This is the magnet that I used when I went magnet fishing. It's very freaking strong, very strong. Like it had a warning label on it when I bought it. Okay, here we go. I'm excited for this. So here's our candle. I'm gonna go ahead and light that. Perfect. Now, move that off to the side. I'm trying to attach the needles to my hands without making them too close together. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Ah! Okay, there we go. And the third one. So, oh my goodness. Yes. This is so weird. This is like almost nightmare fuel. Uh, oh, that's so weird. Woo! Okay. Anyway, so, move our flame over. Oh my goodness, this is so much harder than it looks. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna put it over the flame and... Oh, no! 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 Okay, that did not go as planned. Oh my... That was not. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the candle out of it. Uh, let's pull that out. Don't need that anymore. Get out of here. That's kind of scary. I didn't think that was a possibility. And we're just gonna go ahead and get magnets like that. Now the flame should make it not magnetic anymore. Come on. Why is this taking so long? Maybe I have to use a lighter too? I'm gonna try it with a lighter. Okay, they are like red hot now. Whoa! I burned off my finger hairs. Okay, this is not working for me. These magnets got red hot and they're still like, they're still working, see? I don't know, what does this mean? Do I have like defective fire? The only thing I can think of is like when you put it over a candle, you get like all the, oh, I just burned off the freaking, oh no! Oh, I just burned off the thread. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one, uh, it, it doesn't work. It's kind of dangerous too. I don't know what purpose this really serves. Uh, anyway, this one doesn't work. Don't try it at home. <laughs> okay, so here's, oh, oh my God. <laughs> here's our water bottle. Now I just have to throw this thing in my freezer. Okay, so it's been about three hours. I'm gonna go get the water bottle. Okay, here it is. You guys ready? Oh, man, I'm really nervous. This took three hours to do. Oh man, maybe I should have taken this off first. So apparently you just hit it against the table really hard. You ready? One, two, and... One, two, and... Did it work? It didn't work! One, two, and... Wow. So I feel kind of cheated, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer for a little bit and then we'll try it again. Okay guys, it's been another hour. Let's see uh, if anything will happen. Ready? One, two, and... I feel really cheated right now. Maybe it's because I put it in my mini fridge. That might be what it is. I don't know. I should probably try this with my big fridge, probably. Hey, Thomas Dobranski. Luckily, my roommate just bought a bunch of bottles. I don't think he'll miss if I take a couple. Oh, this one he already started drinking out of. Ew, these feel really cheap. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait an hour and a half for this one, an hour and 45 minutes for this one, and two hours for this one. Let's see, uh, let's hope that this works. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's been about an hour. Which one should we try? Um, let's do this one. Oh, it's already kind of frozen. Okay, ready? One, two, and... Whoa, there is ice inside that one. But I feel like that's not what it was supposed to do. Ready? Oh, this one's also frozen. So I guess an hour is too long? How the heck? Ah! So these were in here for an hour and 15 minutes and they're all frozen already. What am I supposed to do? Maybe 45 minutes? Okay, let's try this again. Maybe it's cause it's on something that's frozen already? Um, what could I do about that? Maybe I'll put it 
in this box. I don't know. Oh, ah. Move over, please. Okay, 45 minutes. Let's do this. Oh, hopefully it'll work this time. So much trial and error with this video. I'm, I'm happy you guys are so patient with me right now. Anyway. Okay, so I just opened the fridge. It looks like one fell down. It's been 45 minutes. Let's try it. Ready? One, two, and... Nothing happened. Why is nothing happening? Okay, maybe with one of these guys? One, two, and... Nope. Oh. Why does this not work? Guys, I'm just gonna have to say that this one... I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get it to negative 18 degrees Celsius when freaking water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. How do I do this? If any of you guys know, please let me know down in the comments down below because I, I just, I'm so confused. <laughs> So here's our cut, here's our cardboard. I just need to make this a little smaller maybe. Bust out the trusty old scissors. Here we go. Ooh, don't need that anymore. That's it. We're good. Okay, now I just gotta fill this up with water. Here we go. The very brim. Ooh, we're getting close. Okay, I think that'll uh, do it. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's like kind of like almost bubbling off the edge. Now we get our cardboard and just, okay, awesome. Now we just gotta flip it over. Let's see if this will work. Ready? One, two, and, oh, it's leaking. Oh, 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 and I'm gonna remove my finger. Are you ready? Woo! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Dang, that is, that's crazy. I wonder how much weight you can put on this before. That explains that! Woo. Okay guys, so I'm learning my lesson. I'm using a bowl this time. Okay, fill our glass with water. There we go. Can we go ahead and get our nylon? And just uh, put this over it, I guess? Just like, just like that? Okay, theoretically, the water shouldn't pour out. Oh, what? What? It kind of works. Why does that, what the heck? It kind of works. I'm gonna try that again, but with a rubber band. Okay, here's a rubber band. I'm gonna pour all the water back in. There we go. Okay, so, okay, so, <laughs> get it, cheese? Anyway, so we're gonna put nylon over our glass. I'm gonna get rubber band. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, come back. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, ready? We're gonna flip it over. One, two, and. That's so weird, it stops it. Every time I move it like drips. But if I poke it, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's kind of fun. Well, I mean, to an extent, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Splashed myself in the eye with water. <laughs> anyway. Here's our bowl, here's our lipstick. There we go. And I have this fancy lighter. It's like a low torch. You can't even see it. Well, that's lame. I swear there's a flame there, okay? You can even hear it. Anyway, let's go ahead and melt this lipstick. Oh, dang, that's kind of cool. It did it right there. Dang, that's kind of cool. Wow. Can I take them out after and then they become like actual little flowers? I mean, they look cool in the water. Does this actually serve a purpose? Oh no, now I just have lipstick on my finger. I mean, that's cool. Well, I guess what we're gonna have to say is this one kind of works. I'm not sure what uh, use this has, but it definitely works. Anyway, let's go do the next hack. Okay guys, so we got a new angle today. Uh, hey, how's it going? Anyway, here's our bowl, here's our water. I hope I didn't put that too high. Here's our tea light, but we have no wick in this one, so what am I even supposed to do with this? There we go, that's what I'm talking about. We just put it like that. Awesome, it's floating. Woo! Now we just light our candle. Oh no, it's wet. Perfect. Now here's our glass, and apparently it should, it should just uh, go up. Do you see it? <gasps> Oh no, it only went up a little bit. Whoa, oh no, it is going up. Whoa, it went up a 
little bit. That was kind of cool. I'm gonna try it again. Oh no. Here we go. Put it there, and then it should go up. You ready? Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, it's rising, it rose a little bit. It actually rose. Okay, one more time. And here we go. And it's gonna start going up. It's gonna start going up. Do you see it? Okay, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. You can see it. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need are some pencils. Now, these aren't sharpened um, on this side or this side, so I think the first step is to go ahead and take off the eraser part. Perfect. Ugh, perfect, don't need these anymore. Now, I wanna sharpen these bad boys as efficiently as possible, so what I'm gonna do is break out this drill. Here we go. Whew, there we go. We break out our pencil sharpener, and let's hope this doesn't backfire. Perfect. Other side. Nope. There we go. Who needs an electric pencil sharpener when you have a drill? Okay, perfect. This looks pretty good. They're about even. Just like we need it in the video. Okay, then we get our cup and fill it full of water. Perfect. So one thing that I forgot to do was I kind of need the cardboard piece to hold the pencils in place. Um, so here's that. So I guess I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and pop a couple holes in this bad boy. That ought to do it. Okay, put these in there. Aha, this looks pretty good. Now all I need is a battery. Nope, nope, nope. Yup, there we go. This is where I keep all my batteries. Nope, nope. Definitely not. What the heck does this even go to? Oops. Haha, -ha, perfect. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and here we go. Nothing's happening. Wait, I forgot the salt. Here we go. Yes. Okay, that should do it. First, I gotta steer it up. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. And a boo boo boo. I think I'm gonna tape uh, these pencils in place a little better. You know what? It's good enough. Okay, let's try this again. And there we go. Oh, wow, it's actually working. Dude, that kind of cool. I wonder why it does that. If I switch them, does it do anything different? Boom. Oh, now the other one's doing more. Whoa, dude, that is so cool. Holy crap. Dude, so neat. Science, man. Maybe it's just letting all the uh, carbon out of it, like when it's burning or something. I wonder why this happens. Anyway, well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I kind of want to see what happens if you take it out of the water and do it. Let's see. Is anything happening? Nothing's really happening. Huh. Anyway, yeah, nothing seems to be happening. It's weird how it's only in the water. Huh. Anyway, let's do the next hack. Here's a fun trick. If you ever want to knock on your roommate's door, but you don't want to sound rude, I always just, uh, you know, I do it to a beat, like. Anyway, here's our yarn. Here's uh, glass one, full of water already. Glass two, not full of water already. I guess we just uh, did the yarn in here like that. There we go. Okay, what the heck am I supposed to do next? Do I hold the string in place? I am so confused. Do I just, I don't know if I'm supposed to hold the string. Here we go. Ooh. It's kind of working. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 it'll fall out. I feel like I need to attach something to the bottom to keep it in place. Maybe this bolt will work. I don't know why it has blue tape on it, but it's fine. Here we go. Oh! Water is traveling down the, the yarn. But a lot more water is getting here, that's for sure. I bet if I just did this and I held it, like eventually all the water would go from here to here. Actually, I kind of want to try. I think I saw a hack once where they just left it like that and then all the water went from here to here. So I'm, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, we'll see if anything happens like that. Here's a little clock so you guys can see how long it's taking. There you go. Ah, I got this. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'll be back in like 15, 20 minutes and uh, we'll see if this got filled with water at all. There's already kind of a small puddle at the bottom, so we'll see. See you later. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, oh. 
And it looks like we actually have a little bit of a small puddle in there. So it does kind of transfer water, even if you just leave it. So that's pretty neat. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works, but uh, it, it's not, it's, I don't know, I can't really get it to work as well as it did in that video. So uh, it kind of works. Okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail! Woo! Actually, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of this thumbnail and if I wanted to recreate it I would have to use my sink and here. Let me show you something. Sorry guys My bathroom is a little bit uh, under construction right now <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so if I wanted to recreate it, I feel like my sink It's just not a very appealing sink. I don't know. So I have another idea I've actually been saving this one for a while I bought this giant Kit Kat bar around Christmas and I thought it would make a really cool thumbnail, but I never got around to actually using it in a video. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. Anyway, let me show you what I go through every time I set up my green screen. So it starts out like this, and then I just kind of go like, and then we have a green screen. Isn't that fun? Now for the dangerous part. Let me get a GoPro so I can show you guys. Okay, so first I gotta step up on this stool. Oh my goodness. And then I attach these things right here to these hooks. Here we go. Oh, now for the other one. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. And that's uh, what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when I'm doing it. It's kind of high up here, kind of scary. I feel like I'm gonna break my ankle one of these days. And that's what I do every time I set up my green screen. Anyway, some supplementary lighting. Woo, yeah, not looking too bad. I'm a little bright here. Okay, we're looking pretty good, but I feel like my shirt doesn't pop out enough, so we're breaking out the Mr. Beast merch. Oh, get out of here, lame Robbie merch. That's better. <laughs> okay, now let's recreate this thumbnail. So I'm thinking something like... Yeah, that ought to do. Also, I photoshopped my eyes blue because uh, I always wondered what I look like with blue eyes, and now I know. I look uh, kind of freaking weird. Woo! Anyway. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It looks like this fight right down there. If you guys like this video and you guys want to watch me do even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist that I can be doing them right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want some cool shirts or stickers or any of my other merch, you can click right here. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm going to Okay, bye.